Hello out there, this is Sosuke Sagara, voiced by Zegzel. Well, no, not quite. I'm just a regular guy named Paul. However, in the online world of abridging, I play both this character and others, despite never having been involved in the process of their creation. In this presentation, I will outline and explore media convergence, participatory culture, and collective intelligence, and how these concepts are exemplified by the abridged series phenomenon. But first, I think I'll rewind a bit and briefly preview the ideas I listed. All three come from Henry Jenkins' book, Convergence Culture. The first is media convergence. Media convergence is where old and new media collide, yet coexist. Content flows across mediums unhindered. Indeed, it can enhance the way we consume media. The second concept is participatory culture. Participatory culture is where the roles of producers and consumers in the world of media are confounded. Fans and other consumers of media become active in their consumption, discussing and creating their own responses. The third concept is collective intelligence. Collective intelligence is the body of knowledge that is built amongst a community. No single person has all the knowledge, but with enough people, members of the community can access a library of pertinent information. Now those of you who know what a bridging is already should start seeing some connections, but I ask that you allow me to explain to the rest of my audience. The term abridged series comes from Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridged Series, created by one Martin Bellani, known on the internet as Little Karibo. What began in 2006 as a single short YouTube video went on to spawn a legion of imitators, known as abridgers, who took his concept and ran with it. That concept was to take an anime, Japanese animation, and write and record a parody dub of it. Dubbing is the process of recording and replacing voices. Then edit together the original with the new parody into a shortened, or abridged, episode. While Little Karibo used Yu-Gi-Oh!, a fairly popular anime for his parody series, the community that sprouted up around him branched off into other mediums, such as western animation, live-action television, and video games. However, like Little Karibo, most imitators, including myself, chose to parody anime series. To illustrate this concept, here is a piece of Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridged Series. It's a computer! With this, we can log on to DualTube.com and check out footage from the Battle City Tournament. Or watch illegally uploaded movies. But nobody really does that. Honest. Look! There's a new episode of Naruto The Abridged Series. I love that show! Hey Sasuke! You're very emo! You like to listen to emo music like Linkin Park because you're emo! Have I mentioned you're emo? It's funny because he's emo! In this clip, we see both the conventions and innovations of a bridge series. The framework of the scene is decidedly traditional, jokes related to the original series, as well as general pop culture. However, it also expanded outside just the source animation to include a very meta view of the medium itself. This sort of innovation is nothing new these days, however. Abridgers have been pushing the boundaries of their, dare I say, genre since its inception. Now that everyone has an idea of what both Jenkins' ideas and a bridge series are, you should be able to start seeing some connections. However, I'll point out specifically what is going on here with regards to the role a bridging is playing in media convergence, participatory culture, and collective intelligence. I'll start with the most obvious connection, participatory culture. A bridge series were quite literally built with participatory culture. Little Karibo took a piece of media and created his own response, a very basic parody film, if you will. The participation of fans of his work built the community we have today. His consumers became producers and created their own series, and the pool of channels and videos grew. YouTube, while often forced to take down videos posted by abridgers, has remained the focal point of a community with literally tens of thousands of fans, despite several efforts to relocate. To illustrate the connections between the members of this community, here is an example of one of many comment specials, where the creator makes a video using comments posted on their previous episodes. Our next comment comes from Saw Buckley 2. Ooh, actually, actually Ethan has wow, that anything was, yet. Oh, sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah. I was just going to say, yeah. 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 if I could... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I can I, see where this is so, going. I, I, just, stop, just, so, just, so, you if you want to read a comment, you can just read the comment. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to write that's quite enough of that. 
If you're going to treat the fourth wall like a conscript's rectum, you might at least conduct yourselves with some professionalism. This makes me giggle madly. You should invest in a decent feather and a sense of humor. Hey, stop trying to alienate all my viewers. As soon as you stop trying to ride the coattails of others in a vain attempt to gain the e-popularity lacking in your real life. The interplay between the creator of the series, his audience, and the characters he has molded into his own should give you an idea of the extent to which participation plays a role in a bridge series. Collective intelligence in the abridging community might be a little more difficult to see. It doesn't play quite as large a role as the other two concepts. It is a little more subtle and integrated into the fabric of the abridging process. One example would be the writing process for many series which involves more than one person coming up with jokes, dialogue, and visual or auditory gags. I myself recently took part in the largest collaboration of abridging minds to have yet occurred, that of a Gundam 00 abridged project meant as a humorous birthday gift to a member of the community. Spanning all 25 episodes of the first season, and with the involvement of more than 60 people, I believe the fact that the project was actually completed and managed to be rather cohesive was testament to the collective intelligence of its members. Finally, the most pervasive element of this fandom, media convergence. As should be evidenced by my presentation so far, content flows across many media platforms in the abridging community. Even the basic formula for an episode utilizes convergence to a great extent video and sometimes audio clips from anime or video games, or animation or movies or TV shows, music, amateur voice recordings, and custom texts and images. Comment specials like the one I showed previously integrate community discussion into the material itself. The clip showing the presentation medium especially highlights media convergence. These are just a few examples of the many, many combinations and innovations that have come about from what was essentially the result of one man's boredom. This leads me to the final part of the presentation. What is in store for the future of this genre and community? How will their relationship with Jenkins' concepts develop? Here is what I see happening. In the future, I believe the collective intelligence aspect will refine to a point where collaboration with established members of the community will become paramount to the success of new series that sprout up. The days of one or more unknowns tapping the mainstream audience for this genre are dying out, mostly as a result of saturation. Almost all mainstream anime have some sort of parody either ongoing, in the works, or halted, and the more popular series have had multiple renditions stacking up. Death Note has at least 10 different abridged series that I have heard of. The ever-expanding nature of this community will require more and more unwritten barriers to entry for newcomers to gain attention. Of course, all of the predictions I just gave are already in place to some degree, but I think they will become more and more important as time goes on. To recap, I found the abridged series phenomenon to be easily one of the most obvious and well-fitting examples of Jenkins' ideas of media convergence, participatory culture, and collective intelligence on the internet. I see this community not as a flash in the pan, nor a complete waste of time but as something that could be worth discussing right alongside the other communities found in Jenkins' book. And so, here ends my presentation on a bridge series and a basic outlining of Henry Jenkins' convergence culture. I hope nobody found it too boring, and I urge anyone who is interested in either of the sides of the coin I presented you to investigate further and perhaps find something of value.